Hey, it's Nay, and welcome to my channel. And today, um, so it is December. So I want to come on here and do my December tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to even talk about, per se, what I had for my November tray. In the beginning of November, I'm going to talk about just the fragrances I felt like I used at least three or four times um, in the month of November. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Why is this so dusty? Goodness gracious. I need to go through a whole, like, fragrance cleaning situation which is just gonna have to wait for a little bit but so what did i use in november quite a bit so i definitely grabbed coco mademoiselle quite a few times the dent is starting to dent in here um i do mix this um on average with either the um dupe of it from Darcy a or sophia by sophia vergara uh is that the only two that i mix with oh and then i also have a lotion that if i don't want to add another spray that smells very similar to coco mademoiselle um that i mix with it too and it just does even more for the smell so yeah coco mademoiselle y'all she's just a grab she's a grab she's a smell she's a vibe she's a Mm, she's delicious she's beautiful she's immaculate since we're on the chanel vibe i also truthfully wore coco noir maybe even six times this week this um the past no, you know month of november i'm really this is such a it's so funny because this is actually works really well at least on me for the warmer weather but it also works really well for the cold weather so it works really well in the warmer weather for me because like it's not a super sweet fragrance it's a it's like a it's got spice to it, it's got freshness, and then in the dry down it sweetens up, but it's never like a gourmand fragrance. Mm, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and so the bees don't really bother me too much when I wear this like that. Um, and then in the cold weather, it just doesn't like disappear or anything. So like, it's just a strong scent. Coco Noir is a baddie. Honestly, the cocos are slaughtering. I also want the original cocoa because I did like how it smelled. However, I think I would get like a small bottle of it because I... I don't know if I would wear it that often, to be honest with you. So I have to really think if I really, really want it. But I kind of do because of the bottle, the three bottle. I don't know. I'm being extra. But a Coco Noir was one I wore quite a bit. Guys, I got Tresor's Midnight Rose. My husband bought it for me. Um, and I got it towards the end of November. But I wore it like four times like in the last, the last week of November. So I'm just going to include this in here. Y'all, it's this beautiful, very, it's a rose fragrance, okay? It is a sweet, like candy-esque rose fragrance with a touch of like powderiness that apparently no one else smells but me and maybe not powder maybe dryness guys it's delicious this is amazing i absolutely love it i love the bottle it's giving moonlight prism power make up okay i just transform into a whole sailor soldier like bye bye um another one i wore a lot was eilish by billy eilish and i know she has a new fragrance out um and i want to get it i'm a low-key scared of the notes um some of the notes it just sounds like a more unisex masculine type fragrance but i think i'm just gonna get it because i have quite a few gourmand scents that i mean come on now i'm getting better at mixing so am i really scared no i'm just gonna wait till after this birthday weekend that's about to hit and then i can start ordering a little fragrance or two this is just delicious. It's like a sweet, like cocoa, vanilla. It's almost a little bit, um, oh, it's bright. So I, I don't actually get like red berries. I think there's red berries in here, but the berries make a brightness in the fragrance. And then it dries down to absolutely deliciousness. Another fragrance that I wore quite a bit was <laughs> Booze and Vanilla by the Dua brand, which is their dupe for M. Mika Left's Note Vanille. Y'all, this is the most gorgeous fragrance of gorgeous fragrances of all things gorgeous no it is a boozy fragrance like the 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 base it's just a booze it's a booze with sweetness but the i get like that creaminess from vanilla but it's like a honey almost creaminess like as well although there's not i don't believe a honey note in here this is absolutely intoxicating it's sexy but it's not like inappropriate per se but there is quite a bit of a booziness but i would definitely wear this around my family 
Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. You want to go on a date night, you can wear this. You want to do a family event, you can wear this. You want to... I wouldn't wear this on a date to date. I'm not going to even hold you because I think it's a bit much. But everything else I think is a great... It's a vibe. A brunch wear... Like, guys. <laughs> Ladies. Gentlemen. This is a vibe. Okay? If you don't have Mika left money, or you don't want to spend Mika left money, listen, I don't even know what note vanille, like, per se smells like but this is just a vibe in and of itself and of course i wore lingerie guys i feel like i've been wearing this a lot and there's like no uh like there's a such a minimal dent i don't understand like i don't get it this is mm, y'all know lingerie y'all know lingerie come now let's not act like we don't know who she is okay she's that chick and she's going right back upon the trio because honestly she'd be slaughtering and i just have to give her the vibe i'm gonna put booze um and vanilla on this tray coco mad and coco noir are gonna go on this tray i use them so much and it just seems like an easy grab nowadays for me because i do function outside more of my house that i just feel like it makes sense i'm also going to add another dual fragrance this is dual therapy one thing i do realize i need to break up a lot of these sweet heavy dense fragrances with something that's a little fresh so i'm gonna add dual therapy i'm gonna add um dark chocolate rum and vanilla all of these boozy fragrances are like the best for um colder weather so i mean sweater weather i wore by the fireplace once or twice in november and i it was such a joy it was such a joy for me it's such a joy when I wear this fragrance, although I definitely do two, three sprays max. I'm over spray on it, and this is like a three spray max fragrance thing ch -ch -ch type of vibe. And then I I smell myself throughout the entirety of the day. I do like mixing it sometimes with also other sweet fragrances. Guys, I can't... Is this oiliness? Oh, this is not it. I have to clean this. This is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. Y'all, I know this is people say like it's like a fall scent. I don't care. I'm also going to wear it in the winter. Um, and it's still fall technically. Um, so this is that like grape, apple, caramel fragrance. I just get the apple caramel with some like deliciousness, immaculateness. And it dries onto this woody. Mm. I should put C on here, but I'm going to calm down. If I grab it, I grab it. It is what it is. I'm going to also add Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I did actually wear her quite a few times. But I couldn't remember if it was three or four times or if I only wore her like twice. I'm not sure. I might have worn her a few times, more than two or three times. But Crayoli Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper is ethereal. She's amazing. She's a goddess. She's a queen. She is transcendent. She is, this, this is a this this is this perfect creamy spicy rose based fragrance but it's like a milkshakey a rose vanilla milkshake oh my gosh this is exact it, it it's amazing i would love a candle in sweet diamond pink pepper i'm just saying moving forward i'm gonna add Jar mark jacobs daisy also oh intense i want that strawberry thick honey vibe to just be added to this tray so i can grab it as i see food i'm gonna add rihanna's reb fleur because this is like a nice strong coconut patchouli based fragrance and i think i will just start enjoying even more and i don't have to spray a lot that's another thing like some of these fragrances are quite strong and you in order to get yourself to wear them more spray less when you wear them so they're not like booming in your face i really think that's a really strong fragrance it's such an affordable fragrance and rihanna made that thing killer it's strong three more fragrances y'all this is scandal by john paul gautier i'm gonna add this one um i don't know if you can notice this look of denty dent i am putting in here i think i had this fragrance like a month or two ago i don't think i got it in november i think i got it in october so like two months ago guys be one of the most perfect honey based fragrances i've ever smelled in my life like it's an actual honey based fragrance it's sexy though so it starts out like a welsh's fruit snacks and then dries down into this goopy thick um really enticing and very sexy like this is not something i'd wear like in a family setting like that um because it's giving sex i'm just telling you what I get. the next one oh no i have now i have three fragrances ush the next one i'm gonna add is why Libre intense I'm not adding the original because I just don't want to. There's just a lot of fragrances going on here. But I probably will grab it throughout the month. 
I just grabbed this one over the original because of um I feel like I can wear the original whenever I feel like it this one is like I've worn it in the summer but I just gotta pick and choose my button you know I gotta pick and choose so the extra dose of sweetness in here is just a vibe right now with the colder weather guys i feel like my lips are so chapped anytime the cold weather comes to play my lips don't know how to act or react or handle themselves in any way shape or form and it's quite honestly mm, 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 mm. i look at disrespectful mm. Mm, mm, mm. i love this though i notice i do like lavender in my fragrances and i like Especially right now during the holidays, really sweet fragrances, you know. The bees have gone to rest. Them not gonna bother me. Them not gonna do nothing to me. So I gotta take up all this gourmand sweetness right now. So come the spring and falls when they out I'm um, spring and summer when they out to do too much damage. I can take a break. You know what I mean? This one I have to add, guys. I haven't grabbed this in a little bit now, like about a, the whole, almost the entire month of November. I might have grabbed it once. This is a sweet, ooh, you know this. This is the um Good Glam, hold on, I'm lying. This is Good Girl Legere. And I'm gonna add this one as opposed to the original, although I should just add the, let me stop. I don't wanna add the entire collection in, that I have onto the tray. The Legere I grabbed over the original, it's a little bit fresher um, and a little more concise on exactly what it wants to smell like. Good Girl, the original, is, is this mod podge of, of, boss bitch energy that i think is fantabulous but i would wear this more in any type of family setting um doing type of stuff so i think i'm just gonna grab this um i say i'm gonna grab this but this is actually gonna come with me on a vacation i have a video coming up very very soon on the sense i'm gonna be packing actually i'm just gonna go just go live i'm gonna pack on what fragrances i'm bringing with me on my girls trip for my birthday yeah i'm gonna go live yeah 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 i'm gonna go i'm gonna go live um and so this i think is gonna be one of them because what i'm doing is um so i do makeup okay so i never i haven't gone to become a i haven't gotten my cosmetology license yet that is a goal i will i have um but i've been doing makeup for several years doing all types of things so i'm gonna be the one doing everyone's makeup for when we go out and um i also am bringing several fragrances with me so that everyone can grab a scent i don't care if people will like both like the same scent whatever there's gonna be a multitude of different scents um so that everyone can smell really good as well because i like to share the joy of looking good feeling good and smelling good um if you don't know that's what my channel is about i do a lot of fragrance based stuff but i'm now starting to incorporate hair um clothing items like guys i've heard a, a couple of people have commented on my glasses so on and so forth because the act of enjoying the act of romanticizing your life is what i'm all about now entering my my late 20s um and to romantic romanticizing your life romanticizing the seasons romanticizing day-to-day -day activities romanticizing important situ um important like events i think is just gonna make life much more enjoyable at least from my perspective and so i try to give that perspective to you guys right on the internet and also to the people who are literally here with me um and so smelling good looking good all of that stuff is just vibes that i try to incorporate so fragrances is something that i can easily bring me with me to a place um and have options and they have options and we all just know not only do our faces beat to the gods okay but we also just smell immaculate so i'm gonna add legere but it's gonna go to the back so I'm gonna add Tresser Midnight Rose because I'm low key. This is like I just spit everywhere. I'm so sorry. This is the fragrance I'm low key obsessed with right now. It's like this and booze and vanilla, but I I really like this fragrance. I think this is gonna be like an awesome brunch fragrance as well for me. Um, so I'm just gonna y'all. This is the situation I put myself in way too often. And I shouldn't be adding so much fragrances. Okay, so I'm not going to add this one. But I'm going to... <laughs> oh, 
wow so these are the fragrances for the month of december guys let me know what fragrances you're putting on your tray um i think the best way to end up using at least some of the fragrances on your tray if not all of them at least one time is to incorporate what your schedule is looking like now if you not, have nothing really planned and you're one of those that fly by the seat of your pants listen do you then you got to kind of wing it and maybe what do you want to do that month um but for me i do technically end up having like a general skeleton of a um plan for the month so i know around okay what am i looking for what is the likelihood i'm going to grab these and of course i still reserve the right to change my mind at any point you know what i'm saying and i think you shouldn't necessarily put too much trust on yourself it's just fragrances so if you end up not even using one fragrance on your tray and your other fragrances that is completely okay this is supposed to be a fun experience um while using your fragrances and and putting focus on your fragrances to start putting dents Every month is not going to be a slaughter month where you're going to put massive dents in fragrances um, or every week or whatever. So don't worry about it. But if you do, yeah, that's why you take care of your fragrances so that they last as long as possible. I do want to really quick um, talk about here being French. Guys, look at the dent I have started putting in this oil. I am in love with this oil. Uh, it's not the fastest absorbing oil that I have. Not at all what it is is it smells good and it may, leaves this really nice glow on my skin and um i just hydrate my skin before i use this i don't really necessarily i don't really use this for like hydrating purposes i do this for the smell and for the look that it gives my skin and for how i feel when i wear it because the smell of this is really lovely and it works well with a lot of gourmand scents if you want to add a, a sweet touch to a fragrance um without it being like super gourmand i would say this is a great thing to go on and like buy i think it's really great so it's body and hair radiance oil am i gonna put this in on my head no Saban, i'm not going to put i'm not gonna put this in my head i like to smell edible i don't need my locks to smell edible um at least not now at this point in my life but anyway that's all i wanted to talk about go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below what are you putting on your fragrance tray or what are one or two fragrances you want to try to use a little bit more for the month of december and do me a favor hey this this video will be releasing december 9th the day before my birthday go ahead and drop me a happy birthday um comment give me some balloons or something just to wish your girl a happy birthday okay um and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye bye